everyone. This is Ava with Stitching in the Interlake. How's everybody doing? I hope you're having a good day. Well, today is the 3rd of July, 2023. It is a Monday. And boy, did I have a good weekend. Oh, it was absolutely awesome. It first started out on Saturday with, uh, we woke up to bright blue skies and warm temperatures that got uh, progressively hotter as the day went on. And uh, it just kept, kept going. And then there was the parade and then I came home and there was, yeah, I just vegged out <laughs> for the day. And then yesterday there was church service and then I did my live and I didn't go for a bike ride yesterday because I was still pretty tired. But I will be going today. It is a kind of, I don't know, there's high clouds. I think there's smoke in the air because that's what it looks like to me. But it's cooler. Uh, the breeze is there. And, yeah, and yesterday we were under a tornado watch, too. So, not not very good. So, anyway, this here is my Angel of Winter. And, as you can see, I am continuing to work here on this darker green. And this color here is 932. So, um... Yeah, my goal is to get this done by the end of July, but uh, that might be a little bit of wishful thinking. That might not go over well. Let's see there. There, there, there. So, yeah. So, uh... All I can do is just kind of work at it and see where I get, right? Uh, it's probably that I won't get it finished, but I can always hope. Years ago, I could have. Years ago, I could have. And I was doing Counted at the time. But I, no, 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 I just, I just can't. I don't have the stamina that I used to. So. Yeah. And. So I don't know what else is going to go on today. So yeah, the live yesterday, even though we weren't very many, we were, oh, at some points up points up to eight and then it would go down to six and four and then back up to maybe six again and that's okay I didn't mind it's always nice when there's more people but yeah so I guess everybody is still with the summer holidays and yeah and then of course the um with the u.s's um fourth of july tomorrow so there's a lot of people traveling in that now, I didn't go to the rest of the festivities here. Like, I didn't go to the rodeo or the tractor pull or um, barrel racing or anything. Because I'm just not interested in that. I'm just not. I mean, it's cool to watch, but I don't know. For me, I'd rather sit here and stitch. So, yeah, but, 
<clears throat> Otherwise, not much else is happening. Just, it's just quiet. I think I'll go for my bike ride after lunch. I will, um, so I'll go about, oh, I don't know, 1230-ish. Oh, um, I was chatting a bit there with Sharon this morning. And please, people, if you get any of these messages, emails, help me win these three prizes. It's a scam, people. You know, it's a scam. They do it for clickbait. They do it for, um, you know, because each person that goes on it and each person that shares it, that means there's more of a potential, right, to get more. Because they get money from clicks, right? And they also could see how gullible you are and will you, you know go for anything else and the other uh the other ones are the um um you know how old was i on my um last birthday um what's the town what was your town known for? Okay. So there's all that kind of stuff. And all of that, they gain information about you. And that is how, because people will put as their, um, their answers to questions, like, say, bank accounts or credit cards or some such thing there. You know, what was your first pet? Um, um, in what state or what province were you born? What county were you born in? You know? And these computers that gain all this information, they, um, they put it all together and then you wonder why your accounts are hacked. So don't answer these things or the ones there where you can win one of these um, KitchenAid mixers. Or not win. You can buy one of these KitchenAid mixers for twenty nine ninety five, or whatever cost, right? Or Amazon is selling off skids of unwanted or returned merchandise for whatever it is fifty nine ninety five. It's all garbage, people. That's all it is, is garbage. Don't get suckered into that stuff. Oh, I know it's tempting. I know it's tempting. What I'm going to do, right? Or, uh, you know, another one is um, uh, the first hundred likes or the first hundred people who will... Um, respond, um, uh, I want to win, or whatever it is, right? Whatever they ask for, you know, that you will win, um, you know, a chance for $500 or something, right? It's garbage. It is just garbage. Remember, it's junk mail. 
Do you remember all the junk mail we used to get in the actual physical mail? Right? It's like, you know, if a guy came up to you and said, I can, I can sell you a, um, a Tim Hortons franchise for $10. You know, or I can, I've got a bridge to sell you for $100. Right? Like, I mean, come on, people. It, it, if it sounds too good to be true, if it sounds like it's, it's, um, just stop and think. These are all scams. Do not get mixed up with all of that it's not worth it and I mean they're all over all over the internet and the other thing is don't watch TikTok videos don't be part of TikTok that's a Chinese owned company and they are making millions, if not billions of dollars from all these TikTok videos that you guys are doing. Perhaps not you. Maybe it's your grandchildren or something or your children. I don't know. You know, oh yeah, it's fun to watch, you know, and... I don't even get involved in it. Spend your time there if you want to. Go and look through, you know, stores like 123 Stitch or Shannon Christine Designs or Hands On Designs or, or um, Modern Folk Embroidery or. I don't know, Evan and Earth Designs. Whatever it is that you're interested in. Etsy. Go look around on Etsy. Like, I don't get anything on eBay. I used to, but no, not anymore. No, 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 no. So, I hear so much about people who, and then they wonder why they, you know, how do people get into my account? How do people, you know, like they, they, um, how do my accounts get hacked? I don't understand that. I don't understand that. Well, that's why. That is why. Just stay away from it. Every time you see an ad or uh, a thing like that, always, always, number one rule, suspect it's a scam. Just just have it that it's a scam written all over it. So. Yeah. So, Twinkle Toes got me up this morning at quarter to five. I had a good sleep last night. It was very tired. I was falling asleep as I I was um, doing my little bit there on, um, or playing my game or something. Oh, I nodded off and I probably slept for about 10 minutes before, before I woke up and said, that's enough. Light was on, you know, my Kindle was there in front of me and yeah, no good. My glasses were on. Yeah. 
So not to do, not to do. So what do you guys got planned for, uh, especially those of you in the States for your 4th of July? Did many of you get your, like, today off? Or did you take today off? And so that means you got an extra long weekend. So you got Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. What are your plans? I know down in the States, oh my gosh, it's it's so much stuff with red, white, and blue. It's so much. It's overload. At least that's what we think here in Canada. We just look at all of that and it's... Like you look at all the, um, or most of the cross-stitching sites... You know, or you go to um, Timu or uh, wherever else. And you see all this about, you know, the 4th of July. And yet, I looked around on Timu and I found only a few items that were actually for Canada. Just a few. That I was interested in. I don't know if there were other things, but yeah. So, uh, like we, we just don't do that here. And we are, we are very, um, It's just something we don't do. You know? Like, it was nice to see all the red and white on Saturday. But then that was it. That was it. So, it would be nice if Canada got a little bit more patriotic. But... That's okay. Canadians have always been known to be more subdued like that. But what are you doing in the States? Are you working on anything that is very Americana? Um, like when I see that say on um, stitching with the housewives that is just I just get turned off by it I just don't you know and it's overload it is absolute overload and um You know, it's it's nice that you guys do that, but it's too much. So, I mean, it uh, the UK or England, they have red, white, and blue. And actually, Canada's original flag had red, white, and blue in it. Because, see, that's why the United States has red, white, and blue. Because the UK had red, white, and blue. Or, or England did. Right? And then, because Canada was a dominion, and it was, we were under the rules of um, 
um, the monarchy that our flag had red, white, and blue, like stripes and and that. And I, I think France has it too. And then back in, I don't know when, it was the middle 60s, we changed our flag to um, the maple leaf. So... Oops, sorry. And uh, that's what our that what that is our thing. And back in 1982, I believe it was maybe it was 1986. Can't remember. Thought it was 1982. Canada became an independent governing country. We totally separated from England. So even though the monarchy is still, we're still considered a commonwealth. Um, we don't, we have an independent, you know, government system and we don't rely on the crown for making decisions for us. So... And then we had our um, what is it? I just had it. Uh, not a, it's similar to your constitution. It's our Charter of Rights and Freedoms. But ours only came out. I don't know when that was. I think Trudeau, the the uh, Pierre Trudeau, so Justin's father. He, um, I think that's who it was. He signed it. Oh no, maybe that's. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway, yeah. So now we are basically free of the monarchy, uh, except for having um, now King Charles on our money. And that. So... Yeah, so that's a little bit of a history lesson. And our first Prime Minister was Sir John A. Macdonald. I actually went to his gravesite there in Kingston because Kingston, Ontario used to be, oops, used to be the capital, it was the capital of Upper Canada Upper Canada, Lower Canada. I think it was Upper Canada. Lower Canada was down around Toronto. But Kingston, Ontario was actually the country's first capital. And I grew up around Kingston. And I actually went to his gravesite. 
And it is an absolute utter shame how people are wanting to take to write him out of the history books, to tear him out, to burn him out of the history books. And yeah, that's like if George Washington, you know, that um, if some group was telling you no, you know, you can't have George Washington. Like he was, I don't know, a slave owner or something. I don't know. And, um, and that, like it's pathetic what's happening to our country here. It's being overrun and dictated to. It's the tail wagging the dog on so many issues. Absolutely so many issues. So... So yeah... But anyway, so I'm just going to, see now it's kind of cleared out. It's not as hazy, but I can still see some haze there towards the north. I'm looking forward to seeing the dermatologist next week because this growth here is, I can feel it's, it's grown a bit. Now we're not talking that it is like, <laughs> like that. It's it's slow growing in the sense that you could have like slow growth or you can have like, right? Don't you like my sound effects? <laughs> so I think they'll want to take a biopsy and I just, I want them to take it off. So, I'll find out what it is. So, yeah, I figured out yesterday that I'm about $700 short this month. That's a lot of money. A lot of money. So it's going to be cutbacks, cutbacks, cutbacks. So. Yeah, but rent is paid at least and but I still have other bills that are going to come out, like Hydro and Susie's car insurance. And then, of course, I have to get things like my some groceries and the cat's food and Lily Bell stuff. And yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would like to thank you so very much for joining me today. It was nice having this chat about Canada. <laughs> yeah, well, I hope I taught you a few things. Like we have 10 provinces and three territories. And no, Quebec is not a city. Quebec City is a city. But Quebec is not the capital of Canada. 
Ottawa is the capital of Canada. Toronto, which is Canada's largest city, is the capital of Ontario. People get them always mixed up. But Ottawa is the capital of Canada. So if anybody comes to you and asks you, what is the capital of Canada? You will say Ottawa. And we do not have a president. We have a prime minister. And we do not speak Canadian. We speak English. So, yeah, on one of these dumb things there, they wanted to know, like, what language do they speak in Canada? Canadian? <laughs> really? Is Canadian a language? Like, really? It's funny for us up here. Because we know so, so, so much about you in the States. We probably know more about the States than we do about our own country. So, please remember that there is the dedicated Facebook group, Stitching in the Interlake. And there is the dedicated email address, which is Stitching in the Interlake at gmail.com so if you need to send me something private a lot of the information will be down below and yeah so I'm just going to kind of continue on here so right now I'm working on this one and uh, yeah we'll see how far I get I think my next I'm going to work a little bit after I get all this done, I'm going to work a little bit on this green here, which is white. So, um, yeah, get a little bit of that done because there's a lot to do. I'm, I may just go up here and work on the wings or something. Yeah, I don't. I, it's wishful thinking to get that I can get this done here by um, the end of July, but. I got to have a goal, right? Got to have a goal. So, alrighty, everyone. So, may you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be well. May God bless you this day and every day. God loves you, and so do I. And so does Miss Twinkle Toes yourself, Miss Lily Bell. And there was no mouse today so far, which was good. Okay, so I hope you all have a great day and that your Independence Day goes well in the States. Yes. Thank you, Jesus, for being my Lord and Savior. Thank you for saving me from my sins. Thank you for being there in my darkest and deepest moments. Thank you for loving me like you do. Thank you for caring enough for me that you would see that my sins would be forgiven. And that's a prayer I pray for all of you as well. Okay, well, I guess that's it for another day. May you have a wonderful day. And if you've got the day off today, and if you're in the States tomorrow, enjoy your long weekend. Okay, toodle-oodles, everybody!